Hello from my name is Elon, welcome back to episode 4 of General Manager Mode. Now, before we begin, I have some news. My entire emulator broke, so I had to start again, again, for the third time in four episodes. There shouldn't be any problems from now on though, but things are slightly different again. I do have the same roster, which again is a plus, but popularities might be slightly different than what they were last time in the last episode. Um, but everyone there is still the same. Hedge of Styles is 5 popularity down, I know. Oh, he's a day late, but for whatever reason I just couldn't get CM Punk for Elijah Burke. It wasn't working, so I had to boost Elijah Burke's popularity for one day, and then train him for Punk, and that worked. But yeah, um, my roster is the same. Smackdown's again, slightly different because uh, I had to start again, as you can see right there. Smackdown picked up Roman Reigns though. <laughs> That's something. I think did they do that last time? I think they did. And then ECW here is their roster. So again, slight changes, nothing major. And um, yeah, my champions are still the same. Fan support, slightly different, but I am down, <laughs> which obviously isn't great. Um, what else could have changed? The matchups. I did do the same match card, but I just simulated all instead of playing to make sure the same results came out. So there was, there were slightly different, like Nitro beat Jeff Hardy there, Ric Flair beat Cena. Um, this show, Matt Hardy won again against Snitsky. I mean, Snitsky won twice in a row in the previous episodes, but doing it again didn't work. The Faces won that match. Um, Gregory Helms still picked up the win though, but this time he pinned Charvo, and of course, since I didn't have CM Punk, I had to use Elijah Burke in his place. And then after that, to boost it up his popularity and trade him for Punk. So yeah, that happened. JTG and Shad defeated Masters and MVP, and then Jeff Hardy still did pick up the win against John Cena though, so that's something. So, I'm going to act like the results from the previous episode counted, not these results. If that makes sense. So, we will continue with the rivalries, and Matt Hardy and Snitsky, oh yeah, this is going to look a little bit blurry, but this is because I had to download a new emulator since mine stopped working, so just when I'm picking a match here, this is when it's blurry. Other than that, everything else works fine. So, I gotta pick a table match here. See, now it's not blurry again. Table match between Hometown Chris Masters and Johnny Nitro. Interesting. That boosts their popularity up a bit. Uh, but we're gonna go Matt Hardy and Snitsky again, continue that rivalry. So there we go, we'll do that. Easy stuff. Um, promos, well, we'll get these in now. Um, we'll build up advertise them. And you know what? We need a slander promo. We need to slander. So there we go, we'll do that. Um, Jeff Hardy is still champion. Cena and Ric Flair still that one now. Cena and Ric Flair shouldn't have the, the main event, so... Uh, what can we do here? I'm trying to think. Um, actually, let's go back. Uh, go to the main event. I think Johnny Nitro is a heel. So we'll go... Jeff Hardy and John Cena, the two faces, against the Intercontinental Champion Johnny Nitro and Ric Flair. Even though Ric Flair and John Cena are battling out to be number one contender for Jeff Hardy or Johnny Nitro's championship, I haven't figured that out yet. Um, it'll be interesting to see how they act against each other. Two champions, one on each team. You know, and the winner of their rivalry gets to face one of them, so an interesting matchup, I think. So let's do that in the main event. Match 4, it can be anything now, so we will do... I need to make these matches a bit more meaningful. So we'll do CM Punk in another triple threat match um, against... Oh, what's this? Okay. Against Chris Masters. Against Chris Masters? No, 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 no. We're getting another tag match in here. And it's actually going to be for the tag team championships. First championships ever defended on the show. And uh, JTG and Shad are going to take on MVP and Chris Masters since they, you know, they won last week. So we'll do that and see what happens. See if they can win the belt. I've still got two matches to go. I'm thinking we do another Divas match. Um, do we do a four way? Yeah, we'll get them all involved, why not? Tori 
Uh, Ashley, Mickey, and Michelle McCoo. There we go, we'll do that. And then match two. Um, we'll do a normal match. Actually, Gregory Helms is on a roll. The Hurricane is on a roll. He defeated CM Punk last week and Chavo. So, you know, we'll do a singles match. Gregory Helms against CM Punk. See if he can pin him again. Yeah. That's a decent match card. So we will confirm that. And the match I want to play is this tag match for the World Tag Team Championships. That's the one I want to play. So we will skip this one. Matt Hardy picks up the win again. Picks up the win again. My goodness. Can the Hurricane defeat CM Punk two weeks in a row? He can! He did it! Ah, I want to push the Hurricane to the moon. Let's do it. Fit the four way. Mickey James, the champion, picks up, picks up the win. Pin and Ashley, who was the other face in this situation. You know they've been working together, but they've been losing together. And Mickey pins Ashley. Trouble brewing. Trouble brewing. Then in the main event, the faces of John Cena and Jeff Hardy pick up the win. So we're going to be playing Masters and MVP taking on Shad and JTG. And we are going to be... Oh... The champions. Okay, okay. So, let's get on the match. Okay, so here we are in the match now. Crime Time, the champions, taking on MVP and Chris Masters for the World Tag Team Championships that were around Crime Time's waist. Ooh, what a matchup! What a matchup! And uh, honestly, feeling good, feeling good. I think that uh, Crime Time might have this, but who knows? JDG going to town on MVP! I love that move. I love that move. It's a great move. And, uh, you know, JTG doing well. He's, he's handling himself. He's doing what he can. Boom! Face first into the mat. MVP fighting out of it. Into a headlock now. Side headlock. Oh, look at the athleticism. Interesting there. But yeah, last episode, Chris Martin and MVP were able to defeat Shad and JTG. So can they do it again? 2 and one right now as uh, Masters enters the ring. And GTG needs to get out of there. Oh, backbreaker. It's going to hurt. GTG is a small man. You can't be doing that to him. Masters, Irish whipped into the corner of the ring. Shad, the bigger man, tagged in. He's going up top. GTG with the strength. <laughs> Shoulder tackle from the top. Just a claw by the bigger man. 
Chris Moss is trying to fight out of it. And he does so. There's a punch. And another one. And another one. Shad with the reversal left. A big boot! Taking him out. And Shad is feeling it. What a big boot though. Out of nowhere. Take down STO. So look at the strength of the big man. Shad. Down he goes. Into the pin. Will that be enough? One. And just a one count. But Shad, since he's came into this match, all over him. All over him. Back into that shoulder grip. Chris Masters again trying to fight out of it. Can he do so? It looks like he can. Punches again. This time, with the grab. Going for a suplex, maybe? Underhook. Just throwing him, launching him across the ring there. MVP's happy with what Chris Masters is doing on the apron. Feynman's carry reversal. By Shad. Got Chris Masters up. There's an elbow to the head. And into a submission. I know how submissions work in. Can Shad fight out of it? Yes, he can. Reversal into a DDT. Huge reversal. Chris Masters with the reversal again, though. Bouncing off the ropes, managing to take down the big man, Chris Masters. Slamming him head first into the mat. And Shad now, what's he doing? Drawing Chris Masters into the ring. Going for a giant elbow drop into the midsection. Straight into the pin. Will that be enough? One. Two. Not a two count. Not a two count. Big kick to the back. Chris Masters does just... <laughs> Unfazed. Shad may be looking to end things here. Quick match if he does. Got him up. Boom! Down he goes. Away goes MVP. Shad into the pin. Who needs JTG in this one? One. Two. And Chris Masters kicks out a two. But it has been all crime time in this matchup. As Shad throws... Chris Masters into the corner, tagging in JTG now. Good for more tag team maneuvers. Ah, oh, trying to break the leg. Chris Masters is able to kick JTG off though. It looks like he could be going for that master lock. Or not. Something different. And JTG with the reversal. Huge reversal. Getting Chris Masters up again. And there's the shout out. The shout out. Tries to get rid of MVP and this time he gets kicked in the face. Try it again. That time he gets rid of him. End of the pin. His master still down. It's been a while. One. Two. Three. Just like that. Just like that. Such a quick win. Crime time, this is on like the highest difficulty in the game as well, so that was a very quick win, but crime time all over. MVP and Chris Masters. That was the big power slam by Shard. And then the reversal bear hug into a DDT reversal by Shard. MVP was hardly even in this match. He got tagged out at the start and that was it. Chris Masters just couldn't hold his own. There's the giant elbow drop to shout out and that was it. It was all over. But just like that, easy pickings for the tag team champions, Crime Time. What a win. What an easy win. Retaining their championship belts. So yeah, that's coming it. Let's get back to general manager mode. Okay, so here we are back in the game now. And as you can see, World Tag Team Champions retained their belts. Let's give a quick rundown again. So Matt Hardy defeated Snitsky in a tables match. CM Punk lost to the Hurricane again. Mickey James pinned her tag team partner Ashley. Tag team champions, of course, picked up the win. And then in the main event, John Cena and Jeff Hardy defeated Johnny Nitro and Ric Flair. And I'm just going to move my microphone slightly, so sorry if there's any noise. That should be slightly better now. Uh, so we'll confirm that. And uh, we will continue boosting up AJ Styles, since that is what we were doing last episode. So let's get AJ Styles boost all our popularity up, because that's what we want. Plus five, of course. 
just carry on doing that for the rest of the week. And by the end of the next episode, he should be ready to use on our brand, which is great. And I know that you can't actually get a plus eight in trophy days, but it's not happening at all yet. It's plus fives all the time, so that's unfortunate. Plus eight wouldn't uh, be a miss. So there we go. Last one, plus five again. Okay, so let's just go to Raw. And then we'll check our match cards. So we got two and a half stars overall. So Matt Hardy and Snitsky got two and a half, two and a half there, two and a half there, two and a half there, and three in the main event. That's not bad. What did ACW do? How would they get three star in? Start with a two, then a three, then a three, then a three and a half. Why is Kelly Kelly in that match? Why is Melina beating Mark Henry in a singles match? Smackdown rating, two and a half, okay, better. Finley and Default. Default? That should be Roman Reigns. Default. I might need to change them, actually. Uh, HBK defeated Regal. Elijah Berg, Marcus Corvon, and Sabu defeated Triple H. And in the main event, table triple threat match, Edge picked up the win. Okay. So surely... Oh wait, that was a that was an event! I could've... Ah! I didn't realise that was an ACW event. I could've got AJ's popularity up even more, so... Melina defeated Kenny. How is Melina picking up wins? Kelly Kelly defeating Mark Henry now. Ugh. And then them um, other terrible matches. Ah, I could have trained up at AJ Styles a bit more. I didn't realise. Okay, so fan support. ECW has jumped up. Oh my god, I've dropped so much. I've dropped so much. Help. Help. Please help. Oh my god. Oh, I've dropped so much. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's a bit of a worry. I can still pull it back. I can, I can do it. How did SmackDown rise? They had a two and a half star show. I also had a two and a half star show. Oh, ECW jolted up there because of their pay-per-view event. Okay, so let's look at our roster now from popularity stance. Jeff Hardy's on the up and up. China Nitro going down a little bit. John Cena. Uh, Shad and JTG going up. Matt Hardy going up. Ric Flair going down. CM Punk going down. Mickey James going up. Um, Gregory Helms going up. Great, great. AJ Styles getting there. He's getting there. Oh, actually, he's better than he's better than Snitsky and Chris Masters now, and nearly on level with Charlo. Maybe. Well, yeah. By the end of next week, it's two episodes time. AJ Styles will be ready to go uh, to use, I should say. By the end of the next episode, he should be ready to use. But that is gonna be it for this episode. I'm fallen. Can I bring it back? And also, pay-per-view events. Um. I will be playing every match. I will be playing every match. And Backlash isn't my pay-per-view. Actually, is it my pay-per-view? I can check this. And I'll show you right now. So I'm going to save this right here. Save slot. So there's a slight pause there. We will simulate up to here. Just to make sure this is my pay-per-view. Is it? It is. Okay, so Backlash is my pay-per-view. And then we'll just... Uh, load state. And we're back where we were. Okay. So... Backlash is actually two episodes time, and that is where AJ Styles is going to debut. He's going to debut at the pay-per-view. Ooh, good stuff. But anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And other than that, I will see you all next time.